Today we're going to do a video about uh, how to fix a problem with a Seco backpack blower. The issue is it'll start up and it'll idle okay, but when you hit the throttle, it just bogs and it uh, won't run up to high speed. So I'll, I'll show you what it's doing now. Choke it. Start up. Hit the throttle and it just dies. So the problem here is uh, that it's not rich enough on idle and the idle needle needs to be unscrewed a little bit to give it a little richer mixture so it can make the transition from idle to high speed. But it, it's a little tricky, uh, especially on this model because the mixture screws for high speed and idle are not easily accessible. But we'll show you how to fix that. So what you're going to need to fix this is this three millimeter Allen wrench and uh, I used an angle grinder to modify the carburetor so I could access the mixture screws and then this Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel on it in order to put some slots in the screw head so that they could be adjusted. And then there's this miniature screwdriver here that was used to make the final adjustments once the modifications were done. So what you need to do is uh, pull off the air cleaner and the air filter and then use your three millimeter Allen wrench and pop the carburetor off. And then uh, what I did is I put the carburetor in the vise and uh, the problem is, is these very small screws here for the adjustment, they're, they're less than an eighth inch in diameter. They were recessed down inside these holes in this this is the part I ground off of here it used to be on here like this all right and there was no way you could get to those screw heads so I took the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and I put the carburetor in a vise and I cut it off so it was pretty much flush with those screw heads and then I took this Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel well it was still in the vise and I cut a slot in each of those screw heads. And then what I did is I backed out the idle adjustment screw about a quarter to a half of a turn and tried it after that once it, once it was all put back together and uh, made a significant difference as you will see. So the on uh, these carburetors, the idle mixture screw is always the one closest to the air cleaner. The high speed mixture screw is always the one closest to the engine. So let's give it a try and see how it does. All right, so we'll give it a try now that we back that idle mixture screw out about a quarter to a half of a turn. A choke. Okay. So as you can see, it uh, makes the transition from idle to high speed much better now. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Good luck with yours. Thanks for watching.